my working, in my career, uh, the anxiety and the hangovers were really killing me. I, I was, I, I was, I was having kind of feelings of dread every day. I, I would get the train to work in Manchester. Literally, um, I would be willing that train to come off the tracks um, just so that I didn't have to go into the office that day. It got to the point where um, I, I was, I was dreading, I was hating going to work, um, and I was quite lucky in that I've always had a good career. But I think I've only just managed to to hang in there. Really, I think I was, I think I was really getting to the point where I was taking the piss. Um, and and after drinking, after quitting drinking, um, I feel like I was able to really forge um, a career where um, I enjoy going to work. I enjoy being around the people that I work with. I enjoy my my job, and the whole mindset that I had um, previously has completely changed. Um, and it's, it's probably a mental health health thing, really. If you want to do well in your career, I think that you need to stop drinking, you know, to, to be blunt. Yes. Yeah. You need to be on the ball all the time and you need to be thinking straight. You need to be clear headed and well rested. Welcome to the tribe. This is your weekly podcast from Tribe Sober. Whether you're already sober, striving to be sober or just plain sober curious, you need a tribe. You need a tribe because it's so hard to do this alone. You need a tribe because you need support. And that's where we come in. Here at Tribe Sober, we've got your back. Here at Tribe Sober, we have people at all stages of the journey, all helping each other to stay on track. On this podcast, we've got recovery stories to inspire you, experts to inform you, and plenty of advice on how to ditch the drink and change your life. So here's your host, tribe leader, Janet Gorond. Gorond.